Good morning. So I'm here because, let me adjust my wig, y'all. Yes, it's early in the morning. I just got up. But I'm here because I wanted to make this video. And I never knew when the right time to make this video would come. So I'm basically here just saying, even if I don't post this video today, I'm going to make this video because I kind of like to look back on my journey and, um, you know, even if God doesn't give me the okay to post this video or whatever today, because I plan on posting it today, but say for whatever reason, Holy Spirit, like, nah, not today. Um, at least I made the video and got it out the way. So I always used to like see these videos or whatever, and it would say, you know, God made me quit my nine to five. I will watch these videos, but I ain't never really like read into it because, you know, that's what God was saying to that person in that season. And I could not relate. Like, glory be to God is one thing when you see somebody say something and you cannot relate. You're not going to really receive it until you in your season when you can relate to them. So I'm saying this because it's blowing my mind on the fact that. God told me to quit my nine to five. <laughs> like, yeah, you don't even understand. My last job that the last job offer that I had gotten was at a place that I used to pass by this place before this place became, you know, transitioning to the, this new company. Before the college bought this company out, it was, I forget the name of it. And then it went to Vitae and then the, the college bought it out. But I used to like pass by this place and have dreams. Every time I used to have to like go to this hospital for whatever reason, you know, quick ED visit or whatever. I used to have dreams. Matter of fact, one of the doctors, one of the surgeons at this hospital saved my life. <laughs> so I was <laughs> like, you know, I want to work at this hospital one day. Like this is a big trauma hospital. Like it was a dream of mine to work there lo and behold saints i went and got the job god opened up this door where i got the job now not only did i get the job but i had options he literally gave me an option to work inside the hospital or in the outpatient clinic area. Now, mind you, at the time that I had got the opportunity to choose between the two, at this time, I didn't have the desire to work in the hospital. This came at a time where my mind literally was done, you know, working bedside nursing. So when I got this opportunity, the first thing I said was, ah, yeah, I want to work for this hospital, but I definitely am not working in the hospital. So when the hospital, because they have like different recruiters in different sections, when the hospital called me back and was like, yeah, we want to set up an interview for the floor, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, because I had already worked in the emergency room at UNC Health anyway, prior to this next job offer that I had gotten. And so I had already made up in my mind after, you know, working there that I was just done. I mean, I, I'm an ED nurse. I have experience working in a few EDs. I worked on mid-surge. Um, and it's just like, I was just over the whole, you know, floor nursing experience anyway. Like even in long-term care and rehab, I was not wanting to be on the floor. I knew that I had come to the end of floor nursing. So what did I do? I accepted the position in the doctor's office. Man, I was so excited because I had already had experience in neurology and internal medicine um, with the Cleveland Clinic with one of the top neurologists in Florida. And I'm like, okay. I mean, she was like one of the busiest doctors. So when I got into this facility, this organization, why did they put me with the busiest doctor again? Like, can I catch a break? Can a sis get a break? Can I have a doctor that don't have but two, three, four, five patients, 10 patients maybe? Yeah, it was like a repeat of what I had first walked into when I graduated nursing school. <laughs> so it was a breeze to me because like literally I'm used to dealing fast paced. I'm used to answering questions very quickly. Thinking, being that I have ED experience, I, you know, critically think very quickly. So I'm able to, you know, assess the situation and give a solution. If not, contact the provider, whatever, whatever. So it was all good. Why did God say, 
this is your last job and this is your last day i was like my last day working as a nurse was on the friday and i mind you now y'all if you check my previous videos i think it's titled ponder your season i mentioned in that video that god was calling me to full-time ministry mind you i did not mean to say that when i said that because i was not even really ready to let people know at that time what God was doing like I I kind of understood the fact that if you let somebody know what you're going through you know while you're going through what you're going through it's only gonna make it worse so you know I, I started to learn very quickly it's better just keep my mouth shut go through my season then say you know give my testimony well guess what like <laughs> I did not mean to say in that video that, you know, God had already revealed to me that he wanted me to be in full-time ministry. Now, mind you, I was being prepared for that in that moment. And literally, it was all happening simultaneously. Like, it was just, like, happening. So, when I made a video, I was talking about it. And I wasn't even thinking. I was just, you know, you know, just letting Holy Spirit flow. And I kind of just let that out there. And I really, I honestly, if I could do it all over again, that's kind of, that's that's the one thing that I would have omitted. Because I, I don't, I'm not a lot of people watch that video. So, it's fine, right? But it only takes a couple of people to come against you in spiritual warfare to try to oppress what God is doing or delay what God is doing in your life and it makes it harder right so that's one of the reasons why I just didn't did not when I realized that I said it which I didn't so I'm making this video guys like the purpose of this video is like number one people who come across God told me to quit my nine to five um titles don't ever think that it can't be you. You never know when you're going to be told by God to quit your nine to five. Don't plan for something like this if God hasn't told you this. Um, and honestly speaking, I wasn't even planning for it when God spoke it to me. I was just yielding to the Holy Spirit every day. And then, you know what I'm saying?